obviously this will be the first time that a test match will be played in June at the Oval. It has never so happened. Last time it happened was in some 1800. So, do you see? I mean, how do you see the wickets playing in in, in this condition? Obviously, in June at the Pusana. well, it's been very dry. Don't forget that it's been very dry, and the drier the wicket, the more chance of it cracking up. With the result, the ball will spin. You know, I don't know. I've not have seen the wicket yet. You know, they will have kept grass on it. Yes, they have but kept the grass. Yeah, they will keep grass. They shave always on the day of the, on the morning of the match. But if there's grass on it, the Australian bowlers, you know, will, will certainly try and make the best use of that. But we've got batsmen who are cap capable of sort of um, countering that. You know, we've got some very good... It'll be a tussle between the best Australian bowlers against our Indian batsmen. And that, that's, that's the key. If we get a good start, will be the favourites. What will be the key for uh, uh, winning this test? But obviously, the, the, the cross will be an important factor, but what, according to you, would, would decide the fate of the match? I think winning the toss wouldn't be as big an advantage because if it's a five-day test match pitch, you know, batting first to second, of course, batting first on a fresh pitch will give the the bowlers. But are they going to, Australia going to win the toss and put India in? I doubt it because Knowing India's batting strength, they will be thinking twice that the game has to last for five days. Is the ball going to turn on fourth and fifth day? And if it does, how is Australian batsman going to cope with Ashwin and Jadeja? So it's a, it's a delicate situation. Now that Rishabh Pant will be missed in this test match, do you see someone like a Ishan Kishan who can play a quick fire for 30, 40? Sure, days, sure. Sure, days? Rishabh Pant. I'm a great fan of Rishabh. And I'm so, I was so sad to hear about his is freak accident really you know i hope he's recovered fully i'm told he's recovering well i hope he's recovers fully we're going to miss him for sure but ishan kishan is the nearest to, that i can find to you know to him so and do you love to see him ishan being preferred over ks Harris? well as i said it wouldn't be fair for me to wouldn't be fair for me to comment on bharat because i've not seen him keep wickets but play your best wicket keeper that that is my Fervent play. Play Ashwin for sure because of all the left handers in the in the Australian team. Jadeja for sure. Oval has been known for his turning wickets on the fourth, fifth day. And let's hope both our spinners are in operation. Ashwin and Jadeja. Jadeja will pitch it in the rough and he's not not very easy to hit. He boy is very accurate. Brilliant fielder. He'll save you at least 50 hundred runs in the field. And his batting, you know, Jadeja has come, he's come at a good level. I remember in last game against Pakistan or something, Jadeja scored a, a magnificent 50. So he's quite capable of getting, we have batting right till the the depth. So Ashwin and Jadeja both, I would I would be inclined to play. What's the award on Shubman Gill? He has been uh, a revelation in the last one year or so. Yes. Scoring runs in all formats. So do you say... So how big a boost will it be for the Indians to have someone like a Shubman Gill opening the back? Oh, absolutely fantastic. I mean, which team wouldn't like the class of a player that Shubman Gill is? He's shown tremendous class. He's shown, he's shown that he's capable of getting good hundreds and very quick hundreds by playing correct cricket, not by playing silly shots, not by top edges. He's played from the middle of the bat. He's an excellent player. And I'm sure we'll hear the name of Shubman Gill for years and years and years to come. What is that, that one thing that has impressed you the most about Shubman? His temperament, his attitude to the game. He's not a show-off. He's, he's there, he's concentration. And he hates losing his wicket. I've seen the annoyance when he loses his wicket. He's really annoyed. But after playing such beautiful shots, such beautiful cricket, I just wish him all the best, like millions of other Indian fans who will. We're all right behind you, Shubman. And we want to see you score a big hundred in this. Obviously, award on Virat. Uh, Virat is a class player. 1971, he played a huge part in India winning the Test match against England, and that was a history. And then once again, we are in front of the history in the making, with India being in the final of the World Test Championship. So, can you talk us about that history at the Oval when you played a part in India winning the 1971 series, and how do you look at this match? Well, Devashi, it's good to see you, as always. Yes, Oval has been a good hunting ground for Indian cricket. 
we won our first test series against England in 71. And as you said, rightly said, I played a you know, pretty important part along with Chandra. Chandrasekhar was magnificent that day too. So Oval has been a good, happy hunting ground for Indian cricket. And I hope to continue to do so as we beat the Australians, hopefully in the world's world first test championships. This is a great thing, you know, great advertisement for five-day test cricket. And two best teams in the world are competing. So the showcase is there. You can't get any better than this. So let's hope it's a great test match. And may the best team win. And may the best team be India. Yes. Yeah, there is a zoo called Chessington Zoo not far from the Oval. And someone brought a baby elephant to make us feel at home. As it is, we were felt at home because majority of the crowd was Indians. And I think Ray Ellingworth said that India had an advantage playing in front of the home crowd. So tomorrow also, I think, India will be very fortunate having about 80%, I think, of the crowd will be Indians. And 20%, if that, will be Australians. Because the keenness in Indian cricket amongst Indians is terrific. It's at the at prime, absolutely top level. And I'm sure Indian cricketers won't let the fans down. Yeah. But so talking about the team composition, do you see uh, uh, India going in with uh, Tez Bharat or Kishan Kishan, the choice between the wicket keepers? Well, it's not fair for me to comment because I've not seen Bharat keep wickets. Ishan Kishan I've seen in an IPL games. He's very good, very good batsman, attacking batsman. But I don't know if Kez Bharat Bharat is a better wicket keeper. I don't know about that. I've not seen him. So it wouldn't be very fair for me to pass judgment on a young man. But if he is a better keeper, or whosoever is the better keeper in the opinion of the selectors or team management, play the person who is a better keeper. Because this is not a T20 game. It's a five-day test match. And you can't afford to have any errors there. You've got to have your best wicket keeper for a test match.